Before mounting the altitude bearing cylinders, first unscrew the screw that is already screwed into them. Now push the screw through the pre-drilled hole and thread on the altitude bearing cylinder. Once you hand tighten it, use a 4mm hex key and firmly tighten it a little bit more. And repeat this for the next four. Now install the encoder connector board into the side panel by inserting the modular jack into the square hole. Secure it in place by using the provided screws in the pre-drilled holes. Before installing the altitude encoder board onto your telescope system, the first thing we'll have to do is use the included nylon washers to provide the correct spacing between the board and the side panel. You can place the uh, nylon washers as such and slide the screw in from the bottom. And we'll want to do this with the other one as well. Now, with the nylon washers in place, slide the shaft of the altitude encoder disc into the pilot hole. And thread in the screws at the bottom. Now install the rubber bumper into the pre-drilled hole above the altitude encoder. This will protect the altitude encoder from any kind of impact from the tube. If your telescope came with two vertical stop knobs, you'll want to use the vertical stop knob from the hand controller box. Uh, that's what we have right here. We'll place three washers on this, and we can use these later, we can add or remove these later to adjust the vertical stop position of the telescope. And then we'll thread this into the threaded insert on the inside of the front brace. Now we'll attach the eyepiece rack by threading the black wood screws that are included into the pre-drilled holes that are above the handle. We don't want to get these too tight because the eyepiece rack will keyhole onto these screws. Once the screws are threaded in, you can take the eyepiece rack and place it uh, over the large holes and drop it down. Now, you can tighten a little bit more um, so that it can be removed, or you can even tighten it further uh, to mount the eyepiece rack permanently. We'll connect the azimuth and altitude encoder cables, which look like phone cables. Uh, we'll start with the shorter of the two. This is the azimuth cable. You'll plug it into the modular jack on the top of the bottom base plate here. And the other end will plug into the left modular jack on the encoder connector board. Now with the longer of the two cables, this is the altitude cable, which we will connect to the altitude encoder disc here. And the other end will connect to the right jack on the encoder connector board. Now you can use the supplied wire clips to route the wires. Here's an example of how we routed ours. Now that the base is fully assembled, we can move on to attaching the tube into the Dobsonian base. If you're an owner of an XT12i, then you'll have to see the additional video on mirror installation. Lift the tube and gently lower the altitude bearings into place on the bearing cylinders. Make sure that the handle here is facing the same way as the eyepiece rack. With the tube in place, take one of the correct tension knobs, a nylon washer and a regular washer, place the regular washer on first, 
and thread on the nylon washer. And gently screw in the correct tension knob on the side of the uh, modular connector there. And just tighten it ever so slightly. Take the other correct tension knob, and this one doesn't need any washers, and just thread it onto the other side. And again, tighten it ever so slightly. Now we can move on to installing the finder scope. All Orion XT uh, and telescopes come with a correct image finder scope. The finder scope can be easily installed by loosening the thumb screw on the dovetail base and sliding in the bracket from the bottom and tightening that thumb screw back up. Now we can move on to inserting an eyepiece. This can be done by removing the dust cover cap here, loosening the thumb screw on the side, taking the eyepiece and inserting the chrome barrel into the eyepiece holder, and tighten that thumb screw back up again. Now we can install the object locator by plugging in the jack, and we've already place the velcro on the back and on the side panel and this can be placed here when not in use. Now that you've completed assembly of your Orion and telescope Dobsonian, it's time to move it outside and start observing. We sell some additional accessories that can enhance your viewing experience. One of them is the Orion 13% light transmission moon filter. This reduces the amount of light going to the eyepiece which increases the contrast uh, for viewing additional details on the moon. We also sell a Orion Shorty 2X Barlow, which doubles the amount of magnification that you're using, can be very, very useful for observing the moon and the planets. To safely transport your telescope if you're transporting it in your car, you can always go with an Orion padded carrying case to hold the optical tube assembly. For additional information on how to collimate your telescope and using the Intelescope Object Locator, see the additional videos further down the page.